I'm here with some very special guests, some very talented musicians um, from Straylight Run. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Very good. All right, so you guys have a new CD out, Needles in Space. Um, were there any specific events in your lives that uh, helped to inspire your new music? You know, I, I don't know if there's any... Thing that specific. I don't know. Is there anything that, that pops into your mind? I think it's sort of you know like the like cumulative experiences of you know of the years leading up to, to that album being recorded. You know, um, and it's it's sort of I think more based on feelings and and observations. You know, a, along the years uh, before we recorded the album. But you know, a lot of it was not like something happened and I'm gonna write a song about it. You know. Yeah. Now, obviously, your sound has progressed throughout the years. Um, for those who haven't heard your music, how would you describe it on the new CD in particular? I don't know. I, I've never really been able to come up with a, with a good way to, to describe it. Um, I, I, I guess with the, with the new album, it's, you know, a lot of the songs are acoustic guitar or piano-based. Um, and uh, we... Have, you know, use a lot of different instrumentation. You know, there's strings, glockenspiel, horns, and uh, you know the it's uh, you know melodic, uh, mid-tempo uh, <laughs> pop rock. I guess I don't know. <laughs> um, now I heard you guys did Warp Tour this summer. Um, did anything fun or crazy happen on Warp Tour? It's a pretty crazy tour. So. <laughs> it's just surprising for us that. Um, I don't know, we just thought it was going to be a totally different kind of hardcore punk rock scene, and it's not really, so it actually was a really good time, and I don't we, know we if we had any crazy stories, but it was a fun tour. We thought people, would, we thought there was a very good chance that, that people would be throwing things at us, you know, and <laughs> that we would not go over well at all, you know, there's some, yeah. some very loud and, and, and heavy and upbeat bands on that tour, so we, yeah, you know, we, we didn't know what to expect. We're hanging out the most with the band called The Unseen, which is one of the only, you know, punk rock bands that were there. It was just kind of a funny thing that happened that us and them hung out all the time. Do you guys think you'll do it again? I think we I might. Think we would, yeah. yeah, I think we, we, you know, we were pleasantly surprised. So I think we would, we would give it another shot. Yeah. All right, and uh, this is for those who know uh, Straylight Runs music. Um, what is after the first stoplight after Carmen's Avenue? Um, That's where you make the right turn. Up, isn't you make it a right <laughs> at the first stoplight. Um, it was, it was uh, approximately directions to a place that I used to live uh, on Long Island. It doesn't really, you can't really follow the directions because of some artistic licenses that I had to take to the cut certain things out and to change names of roads a little bit. But it almost would get you to a place that I used to live in Amityville, yeah. or Massapequa, actually, Long Island. So. All right, well, thank you guys very much for your time. Thank you. We thank really you appreciate us. it. All right, and thank you all for watching Cal TV, and be sure to pick up the needles, the space in stores now. <laughs> what it was wasn't my fault if I would have known. But who could have known the cameras and the kiss, candids and the kindling were fighting them all. They've done it again. Oh, what did her friends say? Who was involved? Oh, crawling all.
on the way back to the bank His head sinking low Well, he should have known How hard did it come? When was it you? You lost your soul What does it take? What do they make you? And what do you know? We've done it again, again, again. Now we let you in, but we should have known. We should have known. Oh, mm -hmm.